Once again, greetings lovely people and welcome to this video. Today, I want to show you my approach to one of the most important parts when it comes to reggae keyboards, the organ bubble. As you see, my Hammond is set up right behind me, but first, let me show you where the bubble comes from. So you may wonder why I'm sitting on the piano when I want to talk about the organ in reggae music. Before the organ became affordable and popular to Jamaican studios, it was only the piano playing the offbeat alongside the guitar. When reggae came along in the late 60s, the organ basically kept the groove of the ska rhythm in the left, while everybody else went halftime. Let me show you how, for example, Laurel Aitken's Boogie in My Bone would transform into reggae. So, since the organ carries the history of the music in its groove, the timing is very important. So I recommend not stop bubbling in the middle of a song, because the groove will get kind of hollow. To me, there are two major bubble styles. First is the classic bubble I just showed you, or sometimes also referred to as the organ shuffle. Here I keep the ska rhythm in the left hand and add off beats or fill-ins with the right hand. I always play triads, never fourth chords with my left hand, because of the low frequencies down here. I mean, I also saw people bobbling like this, but to me that just sound muddy. Like with all musical standards, you are free to vary, switch the hands and come up with your own pattern or style. Let me show you a few examples. The second most common bobble style is what I call the gukuk. Here you repeat the offbeat by a 16th, like the guitar does sometimes as well by playing the chakka. The left hand keeps the offbeat and the right hand goes with the one drop or the snare. Also here you can get creative. So you see, although you play a groove pattern the whole time, you can get really creative with that, especially when you are in the studio and you play only the organ. To decide which bubble style fits the rhythm best, experiment and find the one what makes it wiggle the most by try and error. The classic shuffle, for example, mostly feels comfortable on slower rhythms. So what about the sound? You need a low-pitched sound that you can rather feel than hear. My go-to setting on an organ is this. This also works on every B3 clone, like the Logic Vintage B3 or the Native Instruments B3. From there, you can play around to get your desired sound. If you want it to be more modern, or if you don't have any organ at all, just fire up your favorite synth, choose a simple sine wave without anything to it, and go. Mostly, it will sound something like this. So, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and remember, feedback is always welcome. Leave a like and consider following our channel. We highly appreciate it. In the next video, I'm gonna show you different ways how to take these basics onto stage when you have to bubble and bang at the same time. See you there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Drop the music, let him